to show you how to apply a payment to accounts receivable for a client that has paid a number of items short. Let's take a look at it. The first thing I want to do is start the cash receipts. I've got one started here. For trade research, the company has paid me $24,500. So I'm going to put that in as a control amount. $24,500 is the amount I received from the client. I want to go and apply that to my outstanding items. So go to Process, Apply Entries. The client has sent me a remittance advice that details items they have paid. So I'm going to record that right in this screen. Of course, they took the credit, the full amount. We'll put that in. And a lot of these other invoices they paid short. So I'm going to record the short payments right here. Here I've applied all the payments according to the direction from the client. You can see that some of them they paid full amount. The other ones were short paid here. These are all going to stay on the accounts receivable as amounts still owing. The full amount that I applied here is $24,500, which matches the total receipt and the control amount I entered in previously. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to post this. If we go to the client, we can easily run an aging and see the results of that payment. I'll go to Reports and then Aged Accounts Receivable. We'll run that. And here's the updated aging for this particular client. I can also get a detail list of what it's currently owed me, the original balance on the individual invoices, and the amount paid. If I click on the balance here, it'll open up this sheet. If I scroll to the right here, I can see the fields on the original amount and the remaining amounts for each individual invoice identified on this list. I can easily export this to Excel and make more use of it if I want to. But that's the basic way I can apply a payment from a client who pays multiple items short and then keep track of those items to make sure that they get properly resolved.